Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to show you how you can use the iOS design kit that comes in Sketch 3 to be able to quickly mock up iPhone apps with all of the basic system UI information already pre-created as symbols so that we can just drag and drop them and modify them directly in our project. It's extremely handy for creating mockups and testing out uh, new layouts and designs. So check it out, we're gonna get started. So in the last video, we introduced you to symbols and we made our own and we got to use them and that's awesome. You could create your entire own library of symbols if you wanted to. Well, luckily, uh, Sketch 3 includes a UI kit for iOS and what this essentially includes is a whole bunch of symbols from the iOS user interface. So let's get started by selecting file and let's go new from template. Now we're going to select iOS UI design and you can see it gives us some brief instructions. Basically, it's just telling us we have our document structure, there's the welcome page, and the collection of symbols. Basically, you can use a whole bunch of symbols and textiles that are basically for the iOS predetermined uh, user interface guidelines. So it's saying to remove this pane when you are done with it, so we can just go ahead and delete this pane. Uh, let's delete the layers. Uh, I should have said delete layers. Let's delete the layers. Now let's delete this iPhone kit stuff up here. And we can start in this uh, artboard that says start here. So now let's get into adding some symbols. And you can really see how uh, Sketch 3's symbol UI kit is just totally powerful for this. So going ahead, we're going to go to symbol. And now we have a whole bunch of options. We have controls, icon shapes, keyboards. We have a navigation bar, status bar, and alerts. So let's go ahead and add a black status bar. And we can just drag this up top here. Okay. Uh, in fact, we can select this and tell it to be at position 0, 0. Now let's add another symbol. We're going to want that to be the navigation bar and let's have it be a navigation, uh, just a, a, a normal nav bar here. And you'll notice this actually includes a status bar. So let's go ahead and remove the status bar and click here, put this in position zero, zero. Perfect. So as you can see, what you really can do is just drop in a whole bunch of these symbols and get going. Cause this, I mean, this is a, a good start already. We would have had to uh, find something from the internet and drag it in here. But now we have all of these items from scratch and we can go ahead and do something like change this menu bar title. We can have it just be our app. So we can just say, level up tuts. I know I just used the word level up tuts for any example, but I mean, it works. So we now have this, this heading bar and we can do things like change the background. Cool. So now let's get adding some more stuff. Let's drop in a keyboard here. So let's go to symbols and then let's add in a keyboard and let's just be the normal keyboard. Let's throw it in here. Uh, we can say the position, the X position, X position is going to be zero. And we just want this to sink down here at the bottom. Perfect. Okay, so this is beginning to look like a nice little mock-up. And let's say we're doing maybe like a settings page or something. So let's throw in just one more item. It's going to be a section with a switch on. And we can have this just uh, here, position to the zero on the X axis. And you can see that basically we have these items from the iOS UI drag and drop and you can just start styling your app that way. Now what's really great is if we go ahead and make a duplicate of this. 
Now with that duplication, we can go ahead and remove things like the keyboard from this one and you know, whatever. Now we have a bank blank slate for this other layout. So you can do that and mock up your entire app using these UI tools. So there's really not much to these UI tools other than that they are symbols and then there are textiles. So we can add a, a textile really quick. Let's just say a button center and um, I mean, it's really, it's really that simple. It's just the iOS textile, basically the stuff that you're used to. So the tools you're presented with here give you more than enough for a starting off, jumping off point for either mocking up or designing your entire app. So this is the iOS UI kit. It comes with Sketch 3. Check it out, play around with it, throw some stuff on a canvas and just see what you can create. Maybe inspire yourself to actually create this app that you've been thinking about making. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook, pretty much anywhere. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.